So I see. Someone who sees you as a really stable person, and I always say this, but even if you're not and you don't see yourself like that, this person sees you as a very stable person. So this could mean you're they feel like you're emotionally stable, they feel like you're financially stable, or they feel like they could have like a stable type of relationship with you. But this person feels like they want to take initiative to make this happen. Let's see. Yeah, they want to take initiative because I feel like for a really long time, this person has been feeling stuck like, oh, I can't come in because of this or, oh, I can't come in because they're going to react that way or like just basically keeping them stuck thinking, oh, I can't do anything about it. Right. But now it's like they're getting so irritated with their feelings and so frustrated that they can't have you that they want to come into this like emperor, you know, energy. And they want to take initiative. They want to really go for this because they see their stability with you. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, they have a lot of feelings for you. They almost want to offer themselves to you. Like they want to offer their feelings to you because the way they feel about you, it's like, I'm really getting it's like no other. Like they feel for you differently than they've ever felt for anyone else. It's just different. It's like a different type of connection. And I feel like a lot of these people, they can't even explain like how they feel like they they can't pinpoint what it is or why it's so different like some of you guys might not have not known this person for a long time some of you guys have known each other for a long time but some of you guys might not know each other that well and deep but they still feel a connection okay so i see this person is going to come into communication because they want to offer their love to you they want to offer their cup to you okay and this person is hoping that eventually you will come back that they're they're definitely keeping their hope open because if they didn't keep that hope open they would like i'm telling you they would not even be okay okay so they are very emotional like they have a lot of emotions towards you but they are realizing that there is a possibility that you could go off on them so maybe they know you're gonna question them or you're gonna be like where were you what what happened with that or or you're just gonna flat out go off on them and they're realizing that that is a possibility but it's worth it so they see their happiness with you and they see you as everything and more you're coming out up as the ace of pentacles so they see you as number one period okay and they really see you as a stable person so um for some of you guys this person thinks you like do very well financially that's for some of you okay other than that yeah they want it's like they finally want to put in work towards this commitment so we have two cards right here of someone that wants to work on something for the long haul and they want to stay committed to this okay this person might have even you know like laid in their bed and been like you know what i could potentially see myself being with this person for a really long time okay they see you as like a nurturing person like like they feel like you would be good around kids like they think about this stuff and they might come across as someone who would never think like that but they're thinking like that okay and this ending or you guys haven't been speaking this is causing them to feel real defensive especially like when they're at home and they're like home just chilling around the house it's like some of these people they can't even stay in the house because all they think about is you and they have to push themselves to get out of the house because they'll just keep thinking about you also they feel like they almost feel like you're sneaking behind their back that's how that's how some of these people feel so like possessive towards you and like you're you're theirs or something they feel like you're sneaking behind their back with someone who could potentially have more money than them someone who could offer you way more and like just the thought of that drives them absolutely wild it makes them feel real conflicted and they're like why am i not making a decision why am i sitting here like i gotta go fight for this person like yeah they feel like they feel like they've been like because you haven't been chasing them or because you haven't been offering them something they feel like they were like kind of being a little immature like oh okay well i'm not gonna move i'm just gonna sit here and i'm not gonna fight for this you don't want to fight for this i don't want to fight for this you don't want me fine like and, and i feel like it was a real big ego thing they were like fine fine screw you then <laughs> And, and they're like, okay, I can't do this anymore. Like, I can't do this anymore. Exactly. They want to offer you something. They, they're like, they feel like they've known you for a bit. And they are definitely thinking of memories a lot. And they are 100% talking to people about you. And I'm getting it's people in their family. So if, this brother, so if this person has a brother or a sister, 
or just someone in general in their family totally feel like they're talking to them about it they're very anxious because they feel like these options just confused them and wasted their time and this is something that really makes them want to come flying in without even thinking about it and could potentially be in a way that's like not thought out it's just like you know what screw my ego i'm going in for it look my confirmation just came out and i while i was saying i'm going in for it i didn't even see that card but this is like going towards going in for it okay going towards something yeah i feel like they didn't they either didn't know they were gonna feel like this when you left or they left whatever they didn't know they were gonna feel like this or or i'm getting that they didn't think that you weren't going to chase them. Like, like they thought that you were going to chase them. You were going to be back. Or, oh, okay, when I want to come back and they'll be there. And you weren't. And they didn't know that was going to happen. Like, they were genuinely thinking that, like, you would take them back or whatever. And it's like, they see, they are very aware that they want to come in and offer this, okay? They're very aware that this is what they want. And they're finally using their intuition. And they're realizing that it's actually hurting them to not come in and do this. Yeah, because you're their wish fulfillment. And what did they do with their wish fulfillment? What did they do with the only nurturing option they have? They juggled them. And I feel like any other option they have, they, they could be a very hard person. They're not very nurturing. They're very, like, karmic. And uh, you aren't. So they're basically, like, when they were with other options who weren't so nurturing, who weren't so, hey, I want to be the best me. And they weren't like that. And I feel like they started comparing a bit. And they were like, ooh, yikes like that that person you would never do that or that person would never treat someone like that or never you know act like that or think like that and I feel like that okay um they're very guarded that you guys haven't been speaking and this is causing them to feel very regretful remorseful they're beating themselves up about this they're just not happy about this situation at all and I get at night a lot is when it hits them they're anxious like if like say like they wake up and they can't go back to sleep they almost can't even sit there and lay there because the anxiety is so bad. The thoughts are so negative and they make them feel so bad inside. To the point where some of these people could even be very close to having an anxiety attack. I see some of these people getting up in the middle of the night and showering because they don't know what else to do or how else to get these thoughts out of their um, mind. Anytime an option texts them or messages them or calls them, they're like bored. Like they're tired of this shit. They want to talk to you. So it's almost like you're like a dream or a fantasy of theirs. They really want to come in and balance this out they want to give to you i feel like a lot of these people a lot of for you guys these people didn't give to you as much as they are now understanding they should have or are now understanding that they want to they want to give to this situation and before i feel like they weren't willing to you know go for this and put all their eggs in one basket and just go for it and be like you know what i might get hurt let's just do it and i feel like now they're very willing to do that they're willing to risk a lot just to be with you just to be in your presence they're very burdened over their obsessions with you, like I was just saying before, before this even came out. I was saying that their thoughts of you are starting to really bother them to the point where they can't even sit in one spot. Because it's almost like an overwhelming thoughts. Thoughts. So they're very burdened over this. And yeah, they're really ob observing their thoughts. So it's not like... It, I feel like they can't help these thoughts almost. They're reoccurring thoughts that just keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, so they're very much possessive over you to the point where some of these people do think, hey, you're mine. What are you doing? I'm going to come get you no matter what it is because they can't even picture you with someone else. When they picture you with someone else, they immediately disrupt that thought and, they're, and they get this nasty look on their face and they're like, ugh, like disgusted at even thinking about that. They can't think about that. So they almost act like it's not happening. Like, it's, they, they can't think about you in that manner, okay? So they're getting mental clarity that you're really strong. And it doesn't matter if they take forever if, or if they come in now. Like, it's they're getting an energy from you that it's almost like, mm, you could come in, you could not come in, I'll be okay. And it's like, maybe that's not the truth, but that's how they're feeling, okay? And this third party was just sex and nothing else nothing else and i feel like while they were with this person they wanted so badly for it to work and now they're realizing hey this is really based off of one thing and if that one thing got taken away and we couldn't do that type of thing 
I wouldn't want shit to do with them. So that is where they're understanding like, hey, I want a new beginning with that person and that person only. And they're starting to see things differently. So this person could really want to come in and bring justice to this situation. They just really want to be on good terms with you because not speaking, they feel left out in the cold like a freaking lost puppy dog looking for their owner, okay? Yeah, and their emotions for this third party are ending and they're ending fast. They're happening now. 